of public sector, distinguished panelists on and off dice. Good morning to all of you. I bring to you the greetings and good wishes of the three departments that I look after, Department of Industrial Policy and Promotion, Department of Heavy Industries, and Department of Public Enterprises. The public sector has done creditably well, and it would be apt to place on record their contribution to nation building and taking India to the stage where from 10% of industrial contribution in the overall GDP, we have reached close to 30% of GDP. The public sector has played a major role in this. Uh, they have worked with, okay. They have worked in many areas with one hand tied, with both hands tied, and then, and then performed well under trying circumstances. Uh, it is not also out of uh, context to mention that the manpower migration typically takes place from public sector to private sector and seldom vice versa. Today's uh, discussion is on IT, IT management in PSUs, and uh, uh, I'm happy to note that the PSUs have been early adapters in uh, embracing ID, IT technology. Many PSUs use uh, ERP systems in a in very advanced manner in planning their inventories, in planning their production processes. They have e-procurement e systems in place. But uh, something that stares us in, in the face is the technological revolution what uh, the syndrome that we, uh, we have given characterized as the industry 4.0 that is staring at us. The first, second, third industrial revolutions were driven by steam, electricity, electronics, uh, IT. And now we are going to deal with systems, with intelligent computers, machine learning, industrial robots, 3D printing, and so on. In a situation where to avoid human conflict and errors, the self-learning machines will be controlling the production processes. In a way, this trend is al already visible in bits and pieces, like Mr. Saroop mentioned, when the uh, coal-bearing trucks are monitored through GPS-enabled uh, the same happens with PDS ration. Same is happening with containers going to ports from the customs uh, ICDs. Uh, very recently, we have launched uh, under the Delhi Mumbai Industrial Corridor Project System a data logistics for tracking of containers. And uh, uh, this, uh, this is only going to grow further. A, even in the social sector like uh, rural development, uh, there have been traditionally this uh, grass that the money is going down the drain in creating assets of dubious quality and variety. But the government has gone ahead in using IT to the extent that on a smartphone app uh, we can track what assets are being created in which village and that kind of a, a physical control, physical verification is now possible. Uh, railways have done remarkably well and it is, it is simply unimaginable how we would have handled the volume of traffic if we had not switched over to computerization by now. But the Today, the, for the public sector, the scenario is different. The government's thinking is that it is not supposed to be in the business unless there are strategic reasons to be in business. So only the uh, industries where we, there are strategic reasons for PSUs to continue, they should continue, they should be professionally board-run companies, and they should function uh, in a business-like manner. And therefore, it is all the more important 
that they get ready, they analyze sector by sector, uh, activity by activity, where is the scope, and to deal with both the challenges and the opportunities that are thrown by this upcoming technological revolution. There are challenges because a lot of routine repetitive processes earlier carried by human beings can be very efficiently be replaced by self-learning machines. But it also offers opportunities for reskilling, for higher level skills, and opportunities to be part of global supply chains. And in today's interdependent world, the, the integration has reached to a stage that no country, whatever be the political exhortations, can afford to be an island in itself. It has to be interconnected. The, the global supply chains will remain there. The question is how soon uh, we will be there and what will be the role for public sector in that. We have a lot of hopes and expectations and uh, to that extent I wish all the success in your deliberations to come up with the strategies of how do you carry forward the process of automation forward. Thank you, and thank you, Mr. Adhikari, for giving me this opportunity to share my thoughts. Thank you.